Okay, this is the marks for the students for essay. For my exam, there are two essay questions, question one and question two. Question one is for EPID, question two is for statistics. For this year, question one was about uh, odds ratio. Question two was about yields correction. Okay, uh, so by right, they should be getting full mark for both questions. But unfortunately, some did not pay attention in class and did not do the exercise. So there was some failure. Yes. Okay, so right now we are going to cannot do the yeah. you cannot do the difficulty index and this index using the original marks. Okay, so here we have the marks are 20. So okay, there are two questions here. Question one, question two. We know the third column. The third column is for the final marks. Okay. So MEQ1 P proportion. MEQ2 P again for proportion. Okay, so we're going to have the proportion. So this one is divided by 20. Okay, divided by 20. Uh, okay, same thing here. I'm just going to copy and paste. Control C, Control V. Okay, so these are the, the marks in proportion. I cannot drag and drop for both at the same time. So instead, I'm just going to do one at a time. So drag all the way down. Okay. Okay, then let's do the next one. Okay. So these are. The mark some B2 and D2, this two. Okay, divide by. So then uh, the proportion of change uh, because the mark is out of 24, it's out of 40. So I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, I'm going to create another new column to sum up the uh, for the proportion. Eh? So I just copy the symbol, Ctrl C. Escape, Control V, sum of the MEQ P. Okay. So we're going to sum up this plus this. Press Enter. Okay. okay. I'm happy to see that there's a problem here. Earlier we had problems with the summation. We end up with weird, weird answers. Okay, so we got all the answers there. Okay, so now since we already have the proportion, we no longer need the original marks. I'm going to hide the original marks. I'm keeping this because uh, I just realized I cannot sort it properly. Okay. Uh, okay, right now you're not, you're just seeing the marks arranged from the top to bottom. Usually the marks are in a arranged by metric number. Okay, okay so arranged by metric number. Okay, just make sure that can select. Oh, okay. That, uh, so if it is arranged by metric number, like this, okay. It looks like this. So arrangement by metric number, but here right now, because of the sake of calculating the discrimination index, we need to sort the marks from the highest to the lowest. Okay, so data, data sort. Okay, sorry. Data sort cases. So we're going to go arrange by the total marks from largest to smallest. So this why that's how we got this arrangement. Okay, from the largest to smallest. Difficulty index. Then you have the distribution index. Okay. 
and we, the P and Q is not really important here because uh, as I discovered earlier, the P and Q does not work uh, for in this case because this one for the SA. SA there are only two questions. So therefore, when you do the P and Q, okay, when you do the P and Q, uh, it does not make sense. It does not make sense. All right. <laughs> Habit, eh? automatically I uh, will do that. Okay, for the difficulty index, it is the sum of everything, the sum of everything. So we're going to get the sum of everything. Okay, so the command is sum, sum. Okay, sum from where to where? From the C to, from C to until C154. Okay, then we get the sum of all the score we lose. Okay, it looks like this, one, three, six. So. So what is important is divide by the number of count. So uh, we can run the command count, but here as we know the, the total is 153. So I'm just going to type in 153. Since this one is the difficult index, it is in terms of percentages, so times 100. So difficulty index is 89.2 for this question. Question MEQ uh, one, oops. Okay, then we have this one, you just drag and drop, become 64 for the next one. Okay, okay, they keep, okay, they keep, okay, did not so to break it here too. Uh, okay, I basically the bracket. In book at the bracket. Sum bracket. Okay. There should not be any more spillage. Okay. So it's civilized. So this whole thing, I'm going to bracket it. Okay. Divide by 41. Total. Format cells. Ugh. Okay, so you got the, the distribution index and the difficulty index for both questions. So P is this one, it's the same like this one. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Okay, enter. This one is equivalent to one minus this, enter. Then we have the P and Q. So P and Q equivalent to this times this. Enter. Okay, so we got that 0 0.09. Okay, so again, highlight the whole thing, right? So you got this. So average. Okay, so average of this. Summer than this plus this divided by two. Okay. Somehow my formula all going to be. Okay. So this one same thing. So zero seventy six and zero point five. The PNQ doesn't matter. 
this one we need the sum sum juga this plus this itu okay so if we calculate the variance variance is for which column is it Okay, so sama dengan variance in bracket. Okay, from F dua until F one five four. Got the variance of zero point two. Now it makes more sense. All right. So this is a formula. Okay. So sama dengan. Okay. How many questions? We got two. So it is divided by one. Okay. Okay, then you that the times that up. Okay, in bracket one minus space. Okay, so this one is one bracket. This one is one bracket. I'm not sure why why is happening to my computer, but it is right now damn slow. Okay, so this value, this value is the sum. Okay, sum more than this value. Enter. Okay, then we have this value. So this divide by this will get you a value larger than one. So that will make you give get a negative, a negative R. Okay, a negative R. So for this one divide by this one, we get like a value larger than one. So when you get a value larger than one, one minus the value of the one, you get a negative value. So you get a negative zero point five eight. Okay. Okay, so we break it. One minus okay. One minus what? One minus F one five nine. Okay. Divide by C one C zero. Put the bracket. Enter. Get okay, minus. Okay, it's minus zero one five eight for myself. I'm going to put a number to this point. 
zero minus zero point five six. Okay, and that is why we have this problem here because there's only two questions. So the row identity is useless here, and the standard error might diminish. Is the standard error will be even larger? Okay. Standard deviation, okay. So, sama dengan. Okay, now I'm going to share with the right side. Boom. Right. Hmm, balik. Sama dengan, enter. Lepas tu, naik tak balik. Boom. Tak balik kanan. Alright, much better. Okay, next peta equivalent to the value. So the value is an deviation uh, is square root okay, in bracket SQRT, buka bracket. Then what value is square root of this? Tutup bracket, okay. Times darab. Okay, so we already settled this one. Oops. Now which one is here? Okay, this one. You took bracket, vale. Okay, why all this extra bracket? <laughs> and get square root, square root SQRT of what? Sad to one minus, what's the value? Is I. 159. I 159. I 159. Tutup bracket. Okay. Tutup bracket lagi. Okay. Tutup bracket. Okay. okay. So you get 0 0.57. So it does not make sense because the value is between, between 0 to 2. And you have a standard error measurement, standard error measurement of 0 0.57. So uh, why we have this condition? Because there's only two items. Eh? Because there's only two items. So because we have only two items, I think we have achieved what we wanted to do. Okay, and with that, thank you very much.